you're also uh, working on the Highlander reboot. Mm -hmm. um, what's your What's your vision for that? Like John Wick has such a unique style mm -hmm. and aesthetic. Are you looking to bring something similar to, to yeah, the franchise? Yeah, um, very much. It, it, you know, it's almost scary how similar the two properties can be when you really look at it. Both are hidden worlds: the world of the immortals, the world of the assassins. Um, there's definitely a code: no fighting on holy ground, the gathering, the quickening, um, which is super interesting to me, and I think it's got its own great mythology. Um, What's really interesting about the Highlander franchise is it's through time. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think I've ever seen, including vampire lore films or historical or classical or period pieces, where you've seen a character that's lived for 500 years. Have you really seen anything that showed a character that's lived through so many lifetimes and done through so many things and influenced humanity so many different ways, what that person's like, and then what would that skill set be? You know, they kind of breezed over it in Highlander the series and the other films associated, but we'd really like to examine what, I mean, as far as an action design goes, can you imagine what somebody that had 500 years of practice would be like? On top of the mythical power of, you know, the quickening and everything. I think that's super... He'd be like John Wick. He'd be like John Wick, but with a sword. <laughs> so, you know, I've shot people in the head. Now maybe I'll chop some heads off. Um, the last I saw, uh, you were looking for a writer. Um, is there a writer on it yet? Uh, as of yet, we're, we're, we, we're talking to a great many great writers in Hollywood right now. Cool. It's just a matter of, like... Um, there's something about the original that has just, you know, really attracted such a big fan base. Um, and we're trying to hold true to what that is without, again, I think the danger of something like Highlander, one, the original property is so simple. It's got a great mythology. Try not to rock the boat. Try to bring what's so magical about the first one and bring that back and just try to expand the universe much in the same way we tried to do John Wick. So all the questions that people have had over the, the 20 years of the project, like where did they come from, what, is not really as important as like, let me see the cool immortals, let me see the mythology, let me dive into this universe. And I think that's the biggest trick and the biggest challenge with the property is keep what you love about the first one and expand it without overcomplicating what it really is.